Watashi ga kita! How's it going guys? This is I am Otaku. I've got four of my figures to showcase to you guys. So stick in our real quick bit as I explain to you and unveil each and every single one of them. Alright, welcome back guys. As you guys can tell, I'm dressed up for a very special occasion. Uh, this is an official merchandise from Funimation. Uh, this is obviously going to be the All My Jacket, very similar to Deku's uh, during his childhood time. And I feel like exactly like Deku right now. Look, check it out. This thing itself has the very same design of All Might's Golden Age costume. It even has the side of it. It has the horns or obviously it's supposed to be his hair. It kind of falls over but it's still cute and nonetheless really comfortable. But again, you guys clicked on this video because of this, right? You guys are clicking on it because I've got four different All Might's to showcase to you guys. So this is going to be from the Bandai company, a yearly competition where you get designers to create the best image of the character. And for this guy, uh, I believe this guy did not win the competition, but he came quite close to it. And so he created All Might in this particular stature. Uh, it comes with four different varieties. Now for each one of these, it's going to be roughly $50 a piece, 50 US dollars plus minus so I've got every single variety so I'm gonna go through each one of them real quick and simple so that you guys can understand and obviously showcase to you guys what those are so I'll see you guys in a real quick bit so here we have it guys here's gonna be the box A it's gonna come with four pieces I believe it's just gonna be the same thing over again for the other varieties so I'm just gonna go through it the very first one's gonna be here this is gonna be the base stand this is how All Might's gonna stay up uh, upright and so that he doesn't fall over basically in creating a bigger surface area so he stabilizes and so he doesn't topple then obviously we got his bottom we got his legs again very similar to most other figures i believe they put a lot of detail in regards to the texture and shadowing as well as the coloring so this really stands out i love it then of course after that we've got the torso we've got all might himself with his big bright smile he's doing his victory pose and again uh, what I really like about A, this variety is going to be the brush one. I think what they do in regards to brush is they're going to highlight all the shadows, the contrast, so that it gives this a lot more pop feeling towards it. And of course, last but not least, we've got the hairs. That's just, I think because it's fragile, they had to pack it separately. All I got to do is stick it on all my head. So let me put this all together so you guys can see it in one piece. There you have it everyone i hope you guys enjoyed the really short showcasing um as you can see i've got all four all mites here present it looks amazing they have four different varieties right now um however as a big all Might fan possibly gonna have to choose one as my favorite and again what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna explain each one of the varieties so you guys know what you're gonna get so let's start with the first one so with the first one being the a price the a price is going to be the brush version so what does the brush version mean so it implies that what i think they've done is that they give it a lot of shadowing towards the body as well as the back so what that does it gives this realism for which it this uniform itself stands out so it it's not quite like the anime itself that's going to be the contrast of price b so price a is something what i wanted and yearned for and so for that reason it was definitely a good purchase but as an all my fan, I decided to get all. So coming towards price B, however, this is simplistic. It's just primary colors of red, blue, blue white, and yellow. Um, however, it doesn't have that realism of popping, just like the first price A one. But however, I think that still does justice in its way. Might not be my favorite. This is more likely the one to be resembling my uniform itself. Basic, <laughs> if you will. And so, yeah, it's a high price B. However, what surprised me and took me back would possibly be price C. Now, tones version means like typical like tones like comic books. You get your grayscale, black and white. So what really astonished me would possibly be the hair. 
because all my hair is supposed to be yellow. However, in order to replace this, they, they use white. It's just it's pure white on his head. It almost looks like he's aged as an old man, <laughs> but that white stood out completely. And it's quite a good pick nonetheless, because again, it's almost as if they forgot to paint him. But giving this grayscale really pops out among the four because it almost as if it just it was missing some colors. But nevertheless, it was a great deal. Now the last one, and again, I think you guys probably would have gotten it by now, but that's gonna have to be my favorite. Now what we call Price D is 2D version. 2D version is pretty straightforward. It's supposed to be two-dimensional. It's supposed to be like straight out of the comic book, not manga, but more of a, like an American Western comic book. So it's got a lot more shadowing, not just on the uniform like Price A, but perhaps more towards the body itself. Now, as you can see, the shadowing is all mostly on the left side of his body. And so this really stands out like those typical comic books like Superman and whatnot. And I really like this one among the four, just because of the fact that it just gives this concept of I am here, Watashigakita. Now, among the four, this is my favorite. This has to be the big winner. If you guys are going to go get one, maybe get this one. <laughs> but if you want to get all, Who's gonna stop here? What's even incredible is similar to the price C, there are block bases, right? The ones here. This is gray, this is black. And so that's just pretty incredible how how they decided to give a, that little bit of detailing to make sure that we as fans appreciate what we're getting. So again, kudos to Kengo, the artist. Uh, kudos to <laughs> Bandai for creating this opportunity of having this competition held out. But nonetheless, I am one happy collector. And so uh, what I've decided to do, which you're probably going to be seeing, is that I'm going to be displaying then this, displaying all four of these figures on the module case inside of it so that people can gander as they come in towards my entrance. And it probably looks like a good museum piece, if you will. Nevertheless, this has been I Am Otaku. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what is your favorite uh, variety from among these four. And you know, if you've got any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Nonetheless, I'll see you guys in the next video. Plus, Ultra!